For the reaction between hydrogen and fluorine gases, at which Kelvin temperatures would this reaction be product favored? One way to address this question is by evaluating the equation for the Gibbs free energy. Delta G reaction equals delta H reaction minus T delta S reaction. We'll substitute the values of delta H and delta S into this equation and vary the temperature term. Remember, Kelvin temperatures are always positive. Our delta H value is negative, so that contributes to a product favored scenario. Our delta S value is positive. That also contributes to a product favored scenario. The math agrees with this. Let's take a look. We'll have a negative term from the delta H is denoted by the negative in the parentheses, and we subtract from that negative a positive term. The T delta S term in this particular instance is always going to be positive because we have always positive temperatures and we have a positive delta S value. So effectively, we're subtracting a number, we're subtracting a positive number from a negative number, which increases the negative value. We could say that at all temperatures, this reaction is product favored. And for this reaction, the decomposition of bromine trifluoride, at which Kelvin temperatures is this reaction product favored, given the delta H and delta S for the reaction? To address this question, we are again going to evaluate the free energy equation. When we substitute in the positive delta H value and the positive delta S value, we see that the delta H term is positive, of course, and the T delta S term is positive. So here we have an enthalpy unfavorable situation with regard to being product favored. Positive delta H's are not associated with product favored reactions. We do, though, have a positive delta S, which is entropy driven or entropy favored reaction. So we have two opposing terms with regard to having this reaction be spontaneous. So let's evaluate it a bit further. There will always be a positive term contributed by delta H, and the T delta S term will always be positive. But remember, we're subtracting this positive T delta S term. So we need to make this T delta S term as large as possible. That way we're subtracting a very large negative number from a positive number to make the outcome negative. So at lower temperatures, the delta G is going to be positive which is not product favored. And at higher temperatures, the delta G will be negative, which is product favored. So the answer is relatively high temperatures.